Hello, and welcome back to this series of videos detailing the logistics behind taking out an Orjit horizontal IP trip. In this video, we'll look at the preparations for the week leading up to the trip, right up to the final Friday. The week before. On that Sunday, also send out an initial email to every participant, and you're going to want to CC your staff so they can see what's going on as well. Introduce yourself in that email and tell everyone about the classroom session, which is usually held at 7 p.m. on the Wednesday before the trip after our caving meeting. And this is important here. If you're going to an SCCI cave, you're going to need to attach that permit link to the email because everyone needs to sign it. All your staff, all your participants, everyone needs to sign it. And if they don't sign it, they can't go inside the cave. So be sure you attach that. Uh, there's an old template for the email and it's available uh, right here on the Orgit PV works, and you can pull that up and look through this, modify it to your needs, um, or just use it for inspiration. But that's a good um, basis to start off of. Um, so send that email out on Sunday, and then on Wednesday, send out another reminder email, which is a short, hey, the classroom session is happening tonight, be sure you're there. And then, of course, work with people who can't make the classroom session and try to reschedule. Um, also, you're going to want to email outpost a list of gear that you'll be needing for the trip, just like 18 horizontal sets and a 20-foot hand line or whatever. And you want to do that on Wednesday at the latest. Um, and then before the classroom session, you need to look over the cave and PowerPoint, which is right here, also on the PB works, and just look through it, download it, modify it uh, as needed because it's a little bit old, and then of course you'll give that in the classroom session. In fact, um, you might not give it in the classroom session because when you're running it at 7 p.m., if an IIT needs a couple of checkoffs that are related to it, have them run the PowerPoint and go through it and then have another IIT demonstrate the gear, like how to put it on and all that stuff, and they can get checkoffs from that. And then once you've done the PowerPoint and the gear demonstration, you can run a short name game. I like to do it in the meeting beforehand um, just because there's less of a time crunch there. We're in a short name game, just get everyone to know each other. And then once you've done that, then you can get medical info, allergies, that sort of stuff, dietary restrictions, just anything you might need to know about the participants. And then marshal everyone to the cages and pick up their own gear and pack it together and leave it in the cage and they'll pick it up uh, on Saturday or Sunday of the trip. And then after the classroom session, you want to send an email with the packing list and again, you can get this packing list in the Orgit PV works, and it's linked in that document, and you can see it right here. Final preparations. So once you've closed out that part of the trip planning, then you want to do some of the final arrangements. First off, you want to plan your route through the cave, whether you're going to split into groups or how you're going to work lunch breaks and things like that. Uh, and then give your staff a general idea of what they'll be doing, who'll be leading, who'll be trailing, who'll be leading each group, that sort of thing. And then set a tentative schedule for the day, um, like assuming lunch at this time, uh, in the cave for five hours, getting back at 10 p.m. or whatever, but be prepared to adapt in case it takes too long in a squeeze or they take a long time at dinner or the drive is a lot faster. So be prepared to adapt on the fly. Uh, also, print out a cave map. Um, you want one for each of your instructors and one for yourself. And if you want to run a trip that's more uh, route finding or you have the participants lead, you can print out maps for them as well. Um, also, another important thing to do is you need to print out four copies of the cave permits once everyone has signed them. Uh, you need one for each vehicle and then one for each group uh, when you're in the cave because we often split into two groups. Um, and then the day before the trip, Friday or Saturday, uh, send out one last reminder email to the participants, reminding them to avoid partying, get a good night's sleep, um, don't come up, you know, don't come to the trip hungover, that sort of stuff. Uh, and then put together a list, uh, list of staff names, emails, and phone numbers uh, to save time in the morning trip report. Because when you fill out the morning trip report, which we'll get to um, later, it, you need to input a lot of information about your staff. And if you're having to collect that information the morning of the trip, it can actually really delay how soon you can leave Orjit. So that's important to put on note in your phone ahead of time in order to expedite that process.